Joining us now to uh, react to the numbers, Skip Aylesworth. He's co-portfolio manager of the Hennessy Technology Fund. Mr. Aylesworth, welcome. Uh, take your choice. Which one do you want to start with here, Google or Microsoft? And, and what did you think? <laughs> well, uh, on the big picture, probably a little disappointed in both. Uh, let's uh, look at Google, though, because I think when you peel back uh, the numbers here, there were some positive things for the future. Uh, one, of, one of those is research and development, or CapEx, uh, if you, which is an expense which kept revenues down or, or profits down. Uh, for Google, up about 30 percent this quarter. So uh, they, an additional $400 million spent on R&D and CapEx. Second major issue of a positive nature is the, the headcount shrunk, uh, almost 9,000 employees. And uh, so these are two positive elements uh, for the future. On the uh, negative side, uh, I, I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I, I was going to jump in, uh, Skip, and ask you about Microsoft. What happened with Microsoft, and especially just coming off of this massive reorganization that they announced last week, they have all of these product offerings. Uh, do you see anything here that says that Microsoft has a vision for where they're going for growth? Well, I, I think, uh, as the CEO said, it's in these new services cloud-based uh, cloud offerings. What's really hurting Microsoft, of course, is its reliance on the PC and uh, Windows environment, uh, much, much like the story at Dell, to a certain extent, and HP. Uh, so uh, they heard on that, but they're trying to turn that ship around and go down these other paths to generate new sources of revenue. Skip, both of the stocks have had pretty nice runs so far this year. Microsoft uh, at one point was one of the leading stocks in the Dow so far this year. Would you buy either of these stocks at today's prices? Uh, I think that, well, from an individual standpoint, uh, it's really your, your focus on the future. And I uh, would be more positive on the Google side than I would be on the Microsoft side. All right, and, and so would I would buy I would buy the Google. <laughs> you would buy Google at and, and I know you have Google in your portfolio. Would you be buying it at yeah. eight hundred and seventy three dollars today? Buying more? Uh, I would uh, any time you have a price uh, decline like there was after market. It's a good time to add to positions as long as you have a long term outlook. All right, and real quickly, you know, we've seen the stock market hitting all these new highs, but the technology stocks have been holding back a bit. Just generally on tech stocks, you run a tech fund. What is your view on uh, what's going on with tech overall? Well, on the big tech names, it's very hard to, to see this consistent growth just because the numbers are so large. For both Microsoft and Google, a little shift of, quote, a billion dollars is just a small percentage. Uh, the, I think uh, the opportunities in the small cap sector will, will provide, uh, might be more rewarding from an appreciation standing. Uh, the overall environment, uh, you know, technology is the key for productivity increases, and everybody likes the greatest and best new widgets. So uh, we're all awaiting Apple's next product. Mr. Aylesworth, thank you very much. Skip Aylesworth uh, runs the Hennessy Technology Fund.